Hey, it's Donna Filippiak. And I wanted to uh, share with you a few sites that I use to do um, special like quotes, you know, make them, make them just cooler and uh, prettier, fancy, you know, instead of just posting a quote. And um, the first one I want to, I want to go to is called recitethis.com. And with this one, you have uh, pretty cool things. You can have like this kind of thing. Um, they give you a lot of choices. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do one really quick. And the quote that I chose, I've already got it copied, so I'm just gonna paste it in here. That's from Zig. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great, Zig Ziglar. So, I was practicing with this, so it's already showing up on the down here in these um, photos that you can put them into. Let's just see, the templates, I guess you call them. Um, and I kind of like this one. So I'm going to create. And so let's see how it shows up. It's pretty cool. Now you can post this to these different places, or you can just, um, there's a permalink. And I, what I do with it is I right click and I save image as. And I'll just call it this. And then I'll just go over and I'll post it maybe with my own words on social media. So that's the first one. It's called recitethis.com. The next one. Um, I'm going to say that one first. It's called quotescover.com. And let's see, you, you go there and just let's get started. Click here to create quotes pick. Now they give you quotes that you can choose from if you want. I'm going to use the same quote, although I am going to take that out and I'm just I'm going to add the zigzag right down here. You can choose not to put the author's name. I always like to give credit. Um, I have, sorry, I was I was reading my quote, <laughs> making sure it was right. I'm sorry for that pause. Well, I'm sorry. Did you just so you just go through? I pick social media, and then I pick the square. You can pick other uh, ways. Now, here's what it comes up. And you get to choose, um, you know, from a ton of different fonts. And you just keep going through until you find one that you like. Yeah. I'm gonna go back, because I kinda liked this one. All right, so then you can change the color, which is pretty cool too. And, yeah, just go through and we'll just do this one. Or actually you have a choice of, you can put a picture back here. If you have a really nice picture that you wanna, that goes with this quote. Maybe even a picture of Zig Ziglar. You can hide the quotation marks. You can hide the author's name. And it doesn't seem to have time and date, but there is a time and date that used to be show up here. You can do a blurry background. That's if you have a photo and you don't want the photo to be clear. I'll uh, see transparent, drop shadow or not, or inner shadow. So you have a lot of choices to make it, just make it yours. And then you just click here to save as, I save it as a JPEG. And I'll just leave it with that name and I'll save it. So that's quotes cover. Pretty cool. It's um, it's just different places that you can you can make things your own. You can take a quote and make it really awesome. Last last one I'm saving is Canva.com, and I really like this one because you can do so much with this. Um, it's it's my favorite. That's why I saved it for last. So there's social media. You can do a presentation, a poster. Facebook cover. I've done some Facebook covers using this. Uh, Instagram posts, uh, Facebook posts. They have 
so much you can do documents um, flyers menus uh, headers for YouTube or Twitter Facebook cover blog books now I did an ebook but I didn't use this I did my own but I did use Canva for the artwork for the graphics so as you can see there's just a ton of stuff you can do with Canva but I'm going to do a simple uh, social media okay so here's my choices of images the background images that I want that I can use now if it has a dollar sign it's a dollar if it says free it's free so you can see that there's some there's many that are free they really are you got you have a good selection let me just scroll down here and show you a few this one's free that one's free I am actually going to use this one. So you just pick it. It comes up. And you'll just want to change the text to, I'll just use the same quote. That's it. That's it. For some reason, it's kind of slow today. And then I'll change this to. And you can do all kinds. I mean, you can make this smaller. You can change the color. And I'm not sure what color would look good with that. Maybe black. Then you can change the font. So let's just go to this one. I don't, yeah, I don't really like that. But it's just, I'm just showing you what you can do. Here's yellow. And then you have to go here to change this color. You want to match it. Um, I don't like very weather, so I'm going to try something else. I just use that one. Um, I don't, I'm not fond of that one. So I play with it just so I get whatever, you know, I think looks really good. I'm not real fond of it. I would probably stick to the white. So there you go. But that's Canva. And you can also uh, do, if you don't like that photo, you, they have backgrounds that you can use. And many of them are free. So you want to do this one. Okay. Try that again. <sighs> no time for my computer to act up. So anyways, you can change it to those kind of things. You can add your own image. You can add your own image. Um, but So then after you get done and you like what it is, you just hit the share button. Now you don't hit the share button. <laughs> you hit the download button. And you as an image is what I would do. I'm a, I guess this is for like if you make a book or something. So that's canva.com. And it's pretty cool. I'm not going to say that because I don't like it. So um, I just wanted to share these with you because sometimes you just don't know, you know, you, you have this really great quote and you want to make it special and you want to make it yours. And you actually um, can, instead of putting the author's name here, you can put your name there like, or your website name and you can move it down here in the corner. So it's yours and it's a marketing tool. So that's um, recite this, canva.com and quotes covered. Those are the three that I use on a regular basis and I love them. And I um, particularly love Canva just because of all that you can do with it. But you can choose, like if you're just in a hurry, quotes cover is great, great or recite this. Those are great. They're, you know, they're fast. Probably more on recite this is the quick. So if you're in a hurry or you just, all you want to do is get, you know, like kind of a cool quote and post it on social media then I would suggest recite this. But if you want to get a little fancier and a little, uh, you want to do something more, then Canva is definitely the, the choice I would use. So I hope you got some value out of this video. And I, um, I look forward to sharing more with you. So uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.
Bye for now.